Hey guys, it's 2 Pro Few Games or Adam, and today I have the high round strategy for the new Exo Zombie map infection for all of you who are looking to get to higher rounds on this map. Now, this map really isn't too difficult, but there are a couple of annoying features that can kind of screw you over, and I'll talk about that in a bit. So, there are two training spots that I specifically want to talk about, two strategies that you're going to need. Why two? Because certain sections of the map become toxic throughout the game and you can't stay at a specific spot the entire game, which kind of sucks and that's what I mean by annoying. There's other annoying things that I'm also going to talk about, but for now, let's talk about the first training spot, okay? So the first training spot is going to be Burger Town. Burger Town is an amazing training spot just because it's so open, it's really easy to run a lap around Burger Town. It's, it, it's, it, there's really not much to say about it, but it's really open and it's really, really easy. And same with the gas station. The gas station is the exact same thing. It's an open area, it's easy to avoid zombies. It, because it's so spread out, you're not having your exosuit shut down as much as you did in Outbreak, which is a really good thing. So. Both these training spots are really effective. I pr recommend and prefer training in Burger Town, and then I will go over to the gas station when Burger Town is uh, has that toxic gas there, and then of course just keep switching back and forth. Now there is one thing I do have to mention. At one point in the game, I would say mid round twenties, what happens is both the Atlas Control Center, which is pretty much the area where the gas station is, and Burger Town become toxic. And you really have no choice but to go to the sewers. And when you do go to the sewers, train by the de disinfected pad. That's where you disinfect yourself if you become infected. That's a room. It's kind of like an openish room. It's for the sewers. The sewers are really close quarters. But if you're going to train somewhere during those rounds, go down to that area. It works the absolute best. Now, let's talk about loadout. What kind of weapons do you want to have? So, I recommend three weapons. Personally, the class that I love is the upgraded Magnetron Wave Gun, the new Wonder Weapon. And then the, of course, the if you can get to Mark 25, go for it. Uh, but if you don't want to do, do the Easter egg, that's okay too. Just get it to Mark 20. And then, of course, the Mayhem Rocket Launcher. If you combine that Magnetron and the Mayhem as a primary and secondary weapon, you're going to do really well on this map because both of those weapons are very effective. I would say that the Mayhem is a bit better but the uh, Magnetron is also really good for taking out big groups of zombies so I highly recommend those two weapons. If you can get either one of those weapons or you can't get one of those weapons then get the self recarterizer and upgrade that all the way too. That thing can be pretty effective as well but I recommend again those two weapons to go for when you're hitting up the box. Now distraction drone always a good idea after round 20. The nano swarm really isn't that effective above round 20 if you get it out of the box you know maybe keep it for 20 rounds but after round 20 try to get the distraction drone because that is gonna save your life in the higher rounds especially when you have to go underground when both the atlas command center and burger town are have the toxic gas there so the Distraction drones are going to be extremely helpful in those higher rounds, so I really recommend getting those distraction drones. And just try to upgrade both your weapons as much as you can. Like I said, you don't have to get that diamond camo the Mark 25 if you can. That's just an added bonus because you're going to do more damage and your weapons are going to last longer and it's going to be really helpful against the Goliath zombie. So anyways guys, that is all for now. Make sure to leave this video a thumbs up if it helped and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.